it just makes my body just like stop everything that it's doing and just break down. I was like hyperventilating. I was like, I can't breathe. I don't know what's going on. And she was like, I think you're having a panic attack. Anxiety is like worrying about your shadow. I just want to scream and being really upset and you just kind of start spiraling. And I pray about it, I think about it. I'm like, what can I do? What are, what's the next solution? How can I help him? I didn't think anyone else was having the same issues I was having. And I didn't want to be judged. We should take away all labels, all judgment, all shame. It's not the child's fault. We need to understand what's happening systemically. We're living in very scary times. I worry a lot because of my racial background. School shootings, mall shootings, that's my worst fear. I think we live in a world now where you pick up your phone, it's Instagram, it's Twitter, it's TikTok. I didn't just have anxiety, I was living in it. I kind of like to think about it as genetics being the gun and the environment being the trigger. Unless we realize how we are living a pattern, we will unconsciously project these patterns onto our children. Oh my gosh, like you let your anxiety win. I talk a lot about anxiety as the cult leader. The cult leader says these are the rules we're gonna follow. Families listen because they just gotta get through the day. The obstacles this generation of young people face are unprecedented and uniquely hard to navigate. It's not that the system is broke, it's, it was never right. It was always like going to the doctor and the doctor saying, oh, it's like a phase she's going through. He said, no one understands me. What's wrong with me? Why don't I feel normal? And that's a terrible question to get when you're talking to your child in bed at night. I would say that in the richest country in the world, we are truly failing our young people. The message is loud and clear. This problem is not going away. 